Brittany McGraw joins us now live in the studio with a look at travel trends at home and across the country. Brittany. AAA has said this could be the busiest travel weekend in more than 10 years, so we want to check the roads in our area for any problems or delays. Areas of yellow, orange, and red indicate some slowdowns in our area. No reports of any major crashes, but we have been seeing some slowdowns in the Blacksburg area in the New River Valley, as well as in the Roanoke area along 81 and 220, and then also in the Lynchburg area. So keep that in mind if you are headed out tonight. Now, even though the roads, rails, and skies are packed today, traffic has gone relatively smoothly all the way to the end mama, okay? the mad Thanksgiving travel dash is well underway interstates airports and train stations packed with holiday travelers braving the crowds as they head to their holiday destinations it was a little daunting when I walked in to take a look but TSA pre so hopefully it'll work out AAA projects more than 54 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more during the Thanksgiving weekend, the most in 12 years. Most of them will drive, taking advantage of gas prices that have fallen sharply in the past month. <laughs> We are anticipating about 4 million travelers will be flying, and that also means that the airports are going to be busy. This is what it looked like at Logan International Airport in Boston at 5 this morning, a scene playing out at airports across the country. Never seen a line like this before, ever, for the holiday travel, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Seasoned travelers offering this advice. It's Thanksgiving, we're going to see family, and that's just what you do. You travel, travel today. And you just roll with the punches. Absolutely. AAA says Sunday, the day a lot of people will head back home after the long weekend, is expected to be the busiest day during the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. We'll be keeping an eye on the roads and the skies throughout our 90 minutes of news. Live in studio, Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you.